I like how he pump faked like 10 times trying to fake me out. Like, bro. There will be no faking out on that. Should have stunned him. Um, sir? No, I'm not enough level for that one. Sir? sir? Rank 500 player? You forgot to survive. Oh, well, my persistent harass has been rewarded. Shit, my bad. My have committed. Okay. Just having a look. But they were really careful. Go back mid. That's a pretty nice one. He's level 6. I think he's gonna go gank top. And I think I'm just pushing on. Oh, he didn't do that. He did not do that. Just gonna pressure mid a lot. I think he's farming here. Oh, he's not. Then I will farm here. Oh, neutral items anyway. Oh, that is a beautiful one. Stats. Stats are good for me. Oh, Disruptor with ulti. Might be that to that. Ah! Slark as well? What the fuck? Okay. Sure. 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 If I try to play like Waga on my ring, people go crazy because I haven't ganked, uh, haven't been ganking to save their game. Yeah. Well, the thing is, you need to just not care. Like, if you're playing optimal and you're playing correct and doing what you're supposed to be doing, then whether or not people go apeshit at you is irrelevant. Like, I get people going apeshit at me when I do stuff as well, even though I believe that it's correct. Maybe they don't, for me not ganking specifically, but for other things that they preserve to be uh, the right play. The biggest mistake I could make is like letting that dictate whether or not I'm gonna play in the ideal way or not. They give up. Yeah, I mean, that's unfortunate. Can happen. Really? Again, you do this shit? I think we can back up, guys. We're good, we're good. The time has come. Okay, now we pressure this lane. Really? You just fucking go on me like that? You guys are insane. You have no regard for your own well-being. A five bottom. Tower down? Yeah, TP. Rune might be bottom. In that case, I'm sad, but no, it's not. Nice. I think I'm just gonna go top, actually. Hmm, should I TP there? The team wants to go for something. Shit, my bad. 
I'm gonna tip it down here. We're making some big moves without shoving lanes, so then it's my job. Bit of a feed, my friends. Bit of a feed. The fuck? You guys sure about this? Hi, they returned the favor. I like it. I don't think they understand that. I'm sort of tanky and I was definitely not out of position. I was in a good position. So if they want to go on me there, bring it. I'll fucking fight you. Excellent. with this yeah Agi hero with lots of Agi let's click him yeah I mean it's not just the Agi it's the HP it's more like Agi hero with a lot of HP this uh, that's what makes makes us exceptionally tanky just that the uh, bench has Quite naturally high um, strength at 2.6 gain. Perfect play, my friend. Yeah, I didn't take the MR talent, took the Agi. I believe it's stronger. I really feel like I can go for like a Satanic here or something, or Scott even. Maybe Scotty. Leave my play. Yeah, I need this. Yeah, the Aghanim is good if we plan on dying, but it's not just good if we plan on dying, it's just good overall. We can play hyper aggressive with it. The illusion is really strong. Mm, it might be the correct play to just do Aghanims next. All this downtime of being dead kind of sucks. Kind of sucks, doesn't it? I did kill it. Dominated. 
Well, thank you for fighting me, I guess. Slark decided to just man fight me for the entirety of his ulti, and uh, I think it was a mistake, my friend. Don't think you understand. I'm a little bit too fucking strong for you. Oh, there we go, the shard. Yeah, the shard, main shard is okay, but I don't think it's worth buying until you have a lot of items. Like, it's Wave of Terror, steals 20% of enemy base damage and base armor, granting adventure spirit for a deep of duration. Um, like, it's not awful, but it's not amazing either. Yeah, it's just base armor and base damage, so it's great if you're against like Tiny and stuff, where you get, I mean, so much value, Terrorblade and Morphling, these heroes. Um, Yeah, it's not that strong in this game. Burn him! Why are we or Why, why are we all walking next to me? That's not how you do it. I'm very disappointed with how we took that fight. But the clockwork and the Jakiro got the idea of hugging me for some reason. But whatever. Imwen, thank you for the 17 months, appreciate it. Doesn't really matter to me too much since... Since I didn't technically die. I may have forgotten what hero is on the enemy team. Attack. Uh, stop it. Hmm. I don't want it. Someone else can take that. I want stats. Oh my bottle doesn't get refilled because I respawned out there. Say, surprised they didn't react. Let my vengeance soar. Hello. That's right. We can get the real one. Oh, we just hit. here that was nice he let me walk high ground he was a nice elevator My God, he lived through that. I think I'll just suicide my illusion for the tower damage here. 
Would be pretty neat respawning here though, so maybe I uh, keep it alive. What the fuck is my team doing over there? Die once here. Okay. Okay, okay, that was pretty awful. We should just run after we die in the after we die in the fountain for no reason. Unfortunate. I think Agnes was a good choice. Yeah, it's working out really well. The Aghanims are very strong on bench. It's a really fantastic Aghanims. Actual death. I mean, there were five alive, so... I used my life to swap out the Weaver. Or I used my... My chance to save him there. But that means we die. Just very clumsy fighting. It's cool though. There's also some Pepega shit I'm witnessing. Oh, I got fucking teleported home. I right, glimpsed the base. You just need to click him. Click on him. Evading. I think we're going I'm swift blink, dude. We have a wave top. We can just go. Go right now. You do. No, I clicked the wrong one. Well, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> not butterfly? No. Not butterfly. I think Swift Blink would be stronger. Because, um, I mean, Butterfly versus Swift Blink on Core Venge. The thing is, the the 25 damage we don't get value for. So, like, that part we're not getting anything for at all when we're dead. And as opposed to Swift Blink, we're only getting the Adji, but we're not getting the... Um, the blink effect when we're dead however Bye. the blink effect while we're alive is super good for catching people with blink swap or just blinking in stunning and murdering because we get a fuck ton of damage upon blinking in um so the value when we're alive is so much higher than the value of butterfly when we're alive um that the the loss of five ad g 30 attack speed and 35 percent evasion is more than acceptable to me um it's just a stronger super late game item and we're far enough into the game that i'm itemizing for very 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 late game thank you judas for the 26 months about butterfly versus e-blade since you can't use the e-blade when agonim stop 
Um, well, we can make that comparison too. So E-Blade gives you 40 Agi, 10 Strength and 10 Int, and Butterfly gives you 30 Agi, 30 attack speed and 35% evasion. Evasion early on in the game is not very valuable since in the early game uh, Dota is more about uh, spell damage than right clicks in general. So the evasion becomes not that impressive. Of course you could say evasion also doesn't become very impressive later on since people can have MKV. So it's kind of a mid game sweet timing item that can be good at that point. So we get 10 less Agi, we get uh, 10 less Strength and 10 less Int, but we do get 30 attack speed and we get 35% evasion. And 25 damage while we are alive. But uh, yeah, it's pretty garbage actually. Uh, it easily loses out. It's also more expensive and does not have the active. So for a... For a Aghanim's uh, Vengeful Spirit, I would say E-Blade is unless you're specifically trying to force the enemy to buy some true strike against you and you want to bank on that evasion giving you enough survivability to pull through then i would say that e-blade is by far superior by far thank you ayrton ayrton 09 arg thank you for the prime sub and abjon thank you for prime subbing as well I very, very seldom see you going for BKB on your heroes. Do you see any as a boring item or do you just feel very pressured going for pure damage? I do see it as a pretty boring item. I don't necessarily feel pressured to go for damage and I would not have gone on BKB in this game uh, if it played out the way it did. No matter what amount of money is on the line, I would not necessarily have gone for a BKB in this, uh, in this game. Because I don't believe that it's the best option. It's not super good against Shaker since he blink chain stuns you. You need to get BKB off before he lands on you. Uh, it's not very good against Winter Wyvern since he can ulti you. Uh, yes, you can have your BKB active and walk into ulti, but very seldom does that matter because either you're standing next to someone and he ultis and you're already hitting them, or he ultis you and it doesn't matter again, even if your BKB is on or not. So BKB in this game is not super impressive. It's not bad, don't get me wrong, but there are many, many, many good items for Core Venge, and I believe that the item build that I went for was really strong. It worked out pretty well as well, as you can see.